Ooh, two. This is a very special package I got today. I uh, decided to cut it open before I actually opened the box itself. So I've only cut it open so far. And I've removed my personal information. So all that is left is to actually open the box and see what's in here. Got some nice bubble wrap. One Apple charging cable. One very bent power plug. That's not looking too well, I must say. It kind of makes me worry of what's actually in here. It is packed very, very neatly. Come on. There we go. It's all sticky. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> of course not. I know what it is in here. Okay, this is cool. This is an original Apple PowerBook 12 inch cover. Oh, that is very cool. I've never actually seen one of those. So now I can just put all this shit away. And get to the hardware itself. There is a laptop in here. It is not a PowerBook 12 inch though. I wish it was. <laughs> It's actually, uh, well, I'm not going to say it, you're going to see it. And it's in the title of the video, so you should already know by now. So, it's an iBook G4. Which has pr pretty bad crack in the battery. The battery's empty, might even be dead. I have replacements for that. Put it on that. Let's see what we got. It's actually in better shape than my previous iBook. In a lot better shape, I must say. It's not all that scratchy at all. I'm amazed, really. I'm very calm about this, so I'm actually pretty excited. But it's just, you know, I've had these before, so. I think if I can just reuse this little thing here, it's missing one foot. That's not too bad. If we can just uh, take this thing off, put it in there, and just put the battery on another feet. And I think we're golden. I think the battery might be dead. Like, completely dead. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's open it up. Okay, the hinge no longer, the magnetic uh, hinge no longer works. And the keyboard just snapped a piece of plastic. Something came off. Oh, there's a screw hole for the keyboard that locks it into place. Still, that that's not a big deal for me. I have a replacement keyboard, so that's all good. I'm gonna guess it's doing nothing at all. Nope. Okay, so far so good. It's a bit dirty, but it does not seem to have the regular iBook. G4 problems. For instance, if you look down the bezel here, there is no sign of any cracks at all. If I look up here, it's just dirt. It's very dirty. But still, no cracks. Let's look at the top cover. It's uh, lightly scratched. Not bad, though. It's a bit discolored. It's a bit darker white than the inside. Bezel still feels quite sturdy, doesn't really press in that much as my previous iBook did, <coughs> I must admit. Hinge is a bit floppy, but still sturdy enough. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the previous owner apparently forgot his password. Doesn't matter, I'm going to reinstall the OS anyway. So I probably can't log into it. That's fine too. Okay. So uh, let me just drag this uh, open here. You can see I've got a, another iBook G4 battery right here. This one is quite in a bit better shape than that other one that's in there now. So you know what? I'm just going to put this thing in. I believe this one is empty. No, actually not. Okay, that's cool. Um, it's been in storage since my 
previous iBook G4 died, which was back in, uh, I can't even remember, I think it was May, April or May last year. It held its charge. That's cool. So, let's unlock the battery here. Comes right out. 12 inch iBook re rechargeable battery. So, this is the original battery from 2004 or 5. I don't know. Let's check the date here. Uh, 2005 Apple Computer Inc. Okay, so this is the mid 2005 model, like I expected. That is very cool indeed. I hope this thing is not shot on the inside. Let's see. Does this even fit? Yes, it does. It fits just fine, actually. Okay, that's cool. It still has the springs that hold the battery in place. It's actually quite a tight fit. Hold on for a second. Okay, so now the battery's in place. Sticks out a little bit. So we get three lights indicating it is alive. What we gotta do now is boot it up. That's a good sign. It got sound out of it. See, we get some video as well. What's okay? Screen's coming on. It's very dim. No clicking sounds out of the hard drive so far. I guess that thing must be in good shape as well. It's definitely audible. So let's just take an oh that's that's actually pretty fast. <laughs> that's cool. Oh. Oh that's cool. The actual password was this word on this note. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool actually. Okay. So this keyboard is actually in very, very good condition. So the only downside is that the screw hole that locks into place is now gone. So I expect this thing not to come off anymore. I'll have to find out. Now, okay, it's in the unlocked position. Yep, okay. The airport card is no longer underneath the keyboard. It's just a RAM underneath, which I have to reconfigure, actually. At least I need to get some uh, RAM out of it. Can. Come on. Come on, baby. Work with me here. Yeah. iBook G4 Blues, let's call it that. Controls work. Cool. I'll try to bring up the brightness a bit. Okay, this is as bright as it'll go. It's just very bright in my room at the moment. Bluetooth is turned on. Let's turn that off. It does have integrated airport. As expected. It detects it as WPA personal. It's WPA2, but that's fine. Let's see if it can actually connect. Okay, it worked. Cool. Let's see. Time. No, not percentage, I said time. It still has an hour and 41 minutes left on this battery. <laughs> I put it away when it was fully charged, so that, that probably explains a lot. So well, let's see what you got here. You got a uh, MacOS 10, 10, 4, 11 Tiger, 1.33 gigahertz PowerPC G4, 512 megabytes of built-in memory. Fuck off with the internal modem. It's a PowerBook 6.7. That is, in fact, the latest iBook G4 12-inch it was ever produced. That's USB 2.0. There's the internal scroll and supported trackpad. As you can see, it scrolls just fine. I believe the early 2004 and late 2004 models did not have this feature. However, correct me if I'm wrong. That's just what I've been told. Of course, there is no serial ATI in here. And it has ATI Radeon 9550 graphics, which has full support for core image, which accelerates your overall experience. Let's see what we got in terms of software. We got Firefox down here in the dock. We have iTunes. We have iPhone.
Photo, iMovie HD, iDVD, GarageBand, so probably iLife 06, QuickTime Player, Internet Connect, you can profile in right now. Uh, someone tried to install Firefox 26 on here. Well, I can, <laughs> I can tell that's not going to work, but okay. Still on 49% charge, it has an hour and 43 minutes, it thinks. That's not bad. But we do have Firefox on here. This thing was used in a school environment. This was a school laptop. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. At least then I know uh, when I'm gonna find some skeletons. And then I can find out exactly why. So this is Mozilla Firefox version 3.0.10 from 2008. So this was in fact used in a school. Okay, I guess this is where I'm going to end this video. This thing is working like a charm. I'm loving it. It just needs a really, really good thorough cleaning. I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to show you the result afterwards. But for now, I'm just going to put this thing away and get it cleaned and whatnot. And I'll make a new video as soon as this thing is up and running with its new OS. So hopefully you've enjoyed my unboxing video of my new iBook G4 mid-2005 model. And I thank you all for watching.